Alright, this is another video sponsored by Casio Malaysia. Uh, in this video, I will teach you how to use a new Casio 570EX to solve the non-linear equation in the topic of the system of equation. So normally in this topic, right, you the question will actually give you uh, two types of equation. One will be the linear equation. The second will be the quadratic equation, which have the x square and y square in the equation. So normally when we solve the quadratic equation, right, the common sense is we will go into the menu and then we will go into the equation here and then we will look for the polynomial and then we choose the degree 2 to insert our a, b and c value in order to solve it to find what is our both x answer. Yeah, you can always do this if you want but in order to do this, right, you always need to like substitute uh, the y into the equation to make the whole equation into of x square and then find out what is a, b and c then only you can use these polynomial methods but in this video I will teach you another methods on how to solve this kind of questions so okay so let's go back to the calculation first okay so the first thing I want to do here is I want to make the y the subject first so my y basically is equals to uh, 1 minus 3x so I will call this one as my first equation, this one is my second equation, then I will just substitute my first equation into my second equation. So this is what I will substitute which is 5x squared plus my y squared plus 4xy equals to 5. And you realize whenever I say y I just leave it as a bracket because I want to insert uh, the other side of the y which is 1 minus 3x, which is 1 minus 3x. So the good thing about this calculator is it support the textbook display. So that means you can just type exactly the same equation you see here into the calculator. Then the calculator can understand what you want. Alright, so okay, let's type. So 5x squared. Yeah, I also like about this calculator is about the de dedicated button of x here. So it's so easy for you to type when you need the x here. So plus 1 minus 3x squared plus 4x 1 minus 3x okay over here you cannot use this equal sign if you type this equal sign the calculator will tell you the, uh, the half here which is not what you want so you need to use the red color equal sign here so how do you get this you just type the alpha calculation here so alpha calculation then the calculator will give you equal 5 alright so after you type the whole equation you don't use the equal button we will use the equal button the calculator will tell you the syntax error which is not what you want so you need to tell your cal calculator that oh you want to solve this quadratic equation so you need to do shift solve do you see the solve button here solve then the calculator will tell you both answer but this x answer is not your answer yet so this x answer is the calculator want to know your x answer need to close to what kind of value so this one x answer normally is your previous x answer so not your x answer so normally i will tell my calculator okay i want my x value is nearer to 100 so the type 2 equal then the calculator will tell you the first x answer which is 2 then i will just mark it down my x will equals to 2 and then when i type equal again you you see the calculator actually say x equals to 2 which is my previous answer if you type equal again you get back the same same answer which is you can't get your second answer so how are you going to get the second answer is whenever the calculator say x equals to 2 in the black bar here you need to tell your calculator okay i want my answer nearer to negative 100. then the calculator will tell me oh your second answer will be x equals to negative 1. And what I want to say is the 100 or negative 100 is just a sample. You can use 1000 if you want. So if I do 1000 here, the calculator will tell me, okay, first answer is 2. And then I tap equal again, I see a black bar, I insert negative 1000. Then the calculator will tell me my second answer. So which is 1, which is negative 1. Alright, after you get the 2 or negative 1, you just need to insert into the first equa equation here, you can easily get your y result as well. Of course, in the exam, you still need to show the working, but the good thing about having a scientific calculator is you can always use the calculator to check uh, your answer is correct or wrong. And you might ask, then why can't you use the polynomial methods if you want to use the polynomial function in this calculator you need to make sure you expand the calculator and you solve it correctly because because if you use the polynomial methods here 
you you realize the calculator want you to insert the a b and c but a b and c is after you solve it then only you can get the a b and c right if you solve correctly definitely you use these methods uh is is okay also but what if uh, in the process of solving this quadratic equation, you make a mistake, then you might get the wrong answer. So, therefore, the method I show you just now is quite useful because you can actually insert the equation before you actually solve this quadratic equation. So, therefore, you can always double check your, your x answer is correct or wrong. Okay, so after you get the x answer, if you want to get the y answer, right? Yes, it's very easy. You just no, y will equals to 1 minus 3 x, right? Your x is 2. Then you just type in the calculator 1 minus 3, 2. Then the calculator will tell you, okay, it's negative 5. Same thing here. So y equals to 1 minus 3, negative 1. So 1 minus 3, negative 1. Then you can get 4. Okay. Yeah. So this is how we solve this kind of. Uh, non-linear equation however in an exam you might see something like this which is we call it as a uh, reciprocal example so re for the reciprocal example here uh, you will get two equations one is the reciprocal equation second they will give you a linear equation which is uh, 2x plus y equals to 2 in this case Okay, for this kind of reciprocal and linear equation, even though you make the y equals to 2 minus 2x, you cannot straight away substitute uh, the, the y into a reciprocal. If you do that, you will only get one of the answer, but you cannot get both. Okay, I, I'm going to show you here. So 1 over y, my y is 2 minus 2x. And then plus 2 over x here. And then I, if you want to get equal, I will do alpha calculation. Then I will get 5. Alright, then I do shift solve. Okay, you realize this is my previous answer, right? This is not what I want. If I do 100 here, the calculator will tell me one of my answer is 0 0.5. And then I type equal again. I go for negative 100. So the calculator will still tell me it's 0 0.5 because if in the reciprocal form, the calculator can only calculate out as the one of the answer. So what you can do over here is you want to change this equation either into the linear form or quadratic form. So I will do a simple step to change it. So what I will do is the whole equation, I will just multiply x, y for it. So if I multiply x, y for a whole equation, then I can e easily eliminate the x and y at the denominator here. So you just imagine 1 over y multiply x, y, you will get x plus 2 over x multiply xy, you will get 2y. And then 5 multiply xy, you get 5xy. Alright, now you can substitute your y into your equation, which is 2 minus 2x equals to 5x, 2 minus 2x. Alright, now you can type this one into the calculator. So you can say x plus 2 bracket 2 minus 2x equal, use the alpha equal 5x bracket 2 minus 2x. Then I will close the bracket. Okay, now I ask the calculator to solve. The calculator will show the previous answer. I will just do 100. And then I will get the first answer, which is 0 0.8. So I will write it down. First answer, x equals to 0 0.8. And then I want to get the second answer. I type equal again. I do negative 100. Then the calculator will tell me, okay, my second answer is 0 0.5. You realize just now, if I don't change it into linear form, the calculator will only tell me the 0 0.5. So... So yeah, so whenever you see the reciprocal equation like this, make sure you always change them into the linear or quadratic uh, equation before you actually type into this new casual calculator. Definitely, if you want to find a y, it's very simple. You just need to insert the 0 0.8 into the x here and then type in the calculator 2 minus 2, 0 0.8. Then the calculator will tell you, okay, it's 2 over 4. If you want to change to decimal, S to D, so Y will equals to 0 0.4. So if you want to do when X equals to 0 0.5, Y will equals to 2, sub the 0 0.5 into the X, right? So over here, if you don't want to re retype the whole equation, you can just use the back button and then change the 8 into the 5 here, then type equal. Then the calculator will tell you Y equals to 1. Yeah, this is how convenient we have this kind of... Uh, smart scientific calculator for this kind of questions so i hope you enjoy this video 
So if you are interested to buy this calculator, I will share the Lazada link at my description below. The link will bring you to the Casio flagship store because right now, uh, the Casio Malaysia are doing the promotion. Whoever buy this calculator from them, they will actually free you a Casio L file. Uh, I believe this file is waterproof. So this is how you insert the paper into the L file. I believe you know what is L file. And at the same time, if you insert the promotion code, which is my name, uh, I will share at the description below as well. They will give you another 5 ringgit discount for the calculator. Yeah, I guess that's all for this video. Yeah, if you have any question, please post at the comment below or else I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.